And now time for a very special event to mark the 60th anniversary of Jesse Owens running here in Berlin in the Olympic Games, a special four by 100 meter relay. And in lane five, what they're calling the Berlin Dream Team. Listen to this lineup. Donovan Bailey of Canada, you can see just putting his singlet on, to Michael Johnson of the US, Frank Fredericks of Namibia, and Linford Christie to anchor. I don't know how much time they've had to work on their handoffs, Larry, but probably as much time as most U.S. Olympic teams. You are so caustic, I can't believe it. These guys have had far less. I will defend our American relay team. They generally, they have the five fastest times ever run in history, different USA teams at the World Championship and Olympic level. As you look at Donovan Bailey, he is the blue machine if Dennis is the green machine. One of the teams that might give them a run for their money, the Dream Team, that is it. That's their leadoff man, Darren Campbell, there in lane six. He is from Great Britain. Patrick Stevens from Belgium will run the second leg. Gear Morn from Norway, the third. And Mark Bloom from Germany will run the anchor for them. As you look at the European B team out there, let's mention the mixed team, which is in lane four inside of the Dream Team. And it will be comprised of Michael Green from Jamaica, a great leadoff man, and three top Nigerians. Osman Izinwa will run the second leg. Deji Aliu will run third. And Davidson Izinwa's twin brother will be the anchor for the mixed team. That's a very strong team. And club teams will occupy lane three and lane eight on the outside. And the big money team, probably costing $200,000, the Dream Team's in lane five. Well, as we all know, you've got to get the baton around the track without dropping it, and you've got to pass it inside the zone. And Michael Johnson will be running the second leg of this Dream Team relay. Once again, Donovan Bailey of Canada, the Olympic champion in the 100 meters. Michael Johnson, the Olympic champion, 200, 400. Frank Fredericks, four times the Olympic silver medalist in the 100 and 200 meters, both in 1992 and 1996. And then the old man, the 36-year-old grandfather from Great Britain, Linford Christie. Last time most of you saw him, he was being disqualified for two false starts in Atlanta. They are taking this as a lot of fun. I saw uh, Linford downstairs when I was doing some interviews, and, and it was a full moon, but he was in great, great form. I mean, the humor was flowing. He was teasing everybody. He was asking other elite athletes to sign autographs for him. Lane five, that's Donovan Bailey, who will be passing to Michael Johnson. Bailey, of course, anchored the victorious four by 100 relay for the Canadians and a very rough pass, but he makes the pass. And here comes Michael Johnson down the back stretch. Certainly not making up much room. And then to Frank Fredericks, it almost is a looky pass, but they're making safe exchanges and inside of them and the mixed team doing very very well there that is Deju Aliu from Nigeria and now it's going to be between Davidson Izinwa and Linford Christie can Christie hold off Izinwa who was an Olympic finalist himself it's going to be a photo finish it looks like Linford Christie the time is not historic 38.87 unofficially but that'll tell you what passing will do for you obviously that mixed team with the Izinwa twins Aliu and Green giving the Dream Team all they could handle. Look at the excitement there on that team you were talking about, that mixed team. Boy, they came so close to an upset. I mean, those guys would never live it down for the rest of their career if the Dream Team had not won. It would have been that big an upset as a basketball Dream Team from the U.S. losing an Olympic gold medal. I tell you, these guys are so gifted, and they will joke about this thing for the rest of their running days. Here's that pass from Frank Fredericks to Linford Christie. Linford not exactly flying through that zone. It's like, where is that thing? <laughs> Look at Linford. He's actually smiling. As I said, he thought this was probably the greatest idea he's heard all season. And Izinwa, fresh from running some good races earlier this year, as fast as 10.01 seconds in Linz. Look at him. He's really just inches behind, and he makes up ground on the 1992 Olympic champion. Look how close this race is. There's about, what, 30 meters to go or so right now. And Linford gets serious here with a good lean at the tape to snatch the victory from the mixed team.